So here's our friend uh, presents for his rabies shot. Is he in pain? No, he's doing fine. You look in his mouth. Wow, he's got these. You just kind of touch this area with a Q-tip and the yowza, he uh, chatters and carries on. Uh, this poor fellow uh, is definitely in pain. Uh, here's another cat that presents with uh, maybe at first you might think that's uh, gingival hyperplasia or overgrown gums, but again, if you uh, just gently touch that area with a, with a Q-tip or a probe, uh, you can elicit a chatter response on that cat. Uh, and this cat, you, you thought his teeth were just fine, and you're just uh, having him in for a dental, uh, professional dental treatment, a cleaning under anesthesia, uh, almost time for lunch. The uh, Chinese food has just arrived. Uh, and lo and behold, uh, as you're probing around the tooth, your shepherd's hook explorer kind of sticks in a little spot under the gum line. And, of course, we're taking full mouth x-rays on all our feline patients, so uh, the x-ray shows one of these. This uh, condition we've been looking at is, of course, the tooth resorption, uh, formerly known as the feline odontoclastic resorptive lesions. The etiology of this disease has yet to be elucidated, uh, but research has shown that the initial lesions of this resorption occur in the root cementum, uh, so it starts out below the gum line. And the resorption will then progress uh, from the cementum into the dentin, uh, all this uh, is non-painful, non-clinical, uh, and you wouldn't notice it except maybe on microscopic examination uh, or in maybe a, a slightly advanced stage uh, by dental x-rays. 